All right, Bianca, thanks. And our team coverage moves now to Broward County. CBS 4's Real Karina is live in Davie with how things are looking in Broward. Real. Well, there are always ebbs and flows on every election day. At this polling site, we appear to be in the middle of an ebb. We peeked inside. There are just a handful of voters in there right now. But before Broward voters today, some very big issues, namely the Broward County School Board. There are 15 candidates running, two who are the parents of Stoneman Douglas victims. It's the ripple effect of the February tragedy at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, a potential game changer for elections on the Broward County School Board. On this day, the possibility for it to be remade, five of the board's nine seats are open. There have been vicious and personal attacks against me um, in wake of what has happened. You want to talk for me because you know it's the truth. It's already been a contentious, if not vicious, battle for the District 6 seat between incumbent Lori Levinson and Richard Mendelson. Frankly, I think it's a time she has a, a real opponent. She hasn't really had that before. And I don't think she's handling that adversity well. BSO deputies have been called on Mendelssohn while campaigning at a school. They've also been called on Andrew Pollack, whose daughter Meadow was murdered at MSD. They're making it political. To me, it's about what's right for the kids and the teachers. While they're talking to the police, I'm getting another 20 votes. We got these for everyone. Both Mendelssohn and Pollock want to Superintendent Robert Runcie out. Mendelssohn says he'll cast that vote if elected. Meantime, Runcie trying to stay focused. At stake today before voters, a half a mil tax increase, 93 million, which would in part fund mandated security measures after the massacre at Stoneman Douglas. This is what he told CBS 4's Joan Murray yesterday. We need to continue the innovation, um, the progress in learning opportunities for our students. That's what we need to do, and I'm absolutely willing to work with anyone. I'm Donna Korn. I'm your countywide school board member. A nonpartisan yet politically charged fight for District 8. It's just hard to see currently occupied by at large impact. school board member what Donna Cord. And like race that's become personal as she faces off against Elijah Manley Senator and Ryan Ford. Petty, whose daughter Elena lost her life at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. It's pretty clear that Broward County is underreporting discipline issues on a massive scale. I realized I can make a difference, but I have to I have to have a seat at the table. Well, when it comes to the school board, that race could very well be decided today. Those races, if one candidate gets, gets more than 50% of the vote, then it's over and they win that seat. If not, then the top two vote getters go on to face off in November. We're live in Davie, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.